Hi, this is going to be a very simple lecture and it will be a continuation of our previous lecture where we learned about groups. So all that we are going to do in this lecture is we are going to add a new guest user. So this guest user is going to be a user from another domain. So this could be anything from a Gmail or Yahoo or any other domain that is not the organization specific domain. And we will add that particular guest user to the group that we had created in a previous chapter. So that particular video I will send in the description below as well as on the screen right now. So let's see how we can achieve this. Okay, so I'm back in my active directory and I'm in my default directory. So all that I need to do is I can click on new guest user here. So here, what I need to do is I just need to give a name. So let's just call this as and here I need to give the email ID. So let me give a email ID here as well. So this has to be a valid email ID. And that's about it. And here you can add that particular user to a group as well. So let's do that. So let's click on zero groups added and let's add it to the group that we had created in our previous chapter. Let's click on select and let's click on invite. And once I do that, once I log into this particular email ID, I should get an invitation. And if I click on that invitation, I will be automatically added to this particular default directory. So let's do that so let's so i'll go to my email id and i will accept this invitation for this particular active directory and here i'll get a email id like this all that i need to do is i just need to accept this invitation and i have accepted the invitation so let me go back to my active directory again so now all that i need to do is i need to log in using that new user that i have created so let's do that let's sign in with a different user click on use other account and let me just give my email id and here let's try to access the subscription and now because i have access to that particular group i should be able to also access that resource group and i was successfully able to log in using that particular email id now the important thing here is that you can actually also log into that resource group because you were given access to that particular group so if you go to the resource group or you can actually go to the subscription and from here we can go to the resource group. Let's click on the subscription and let's try to open a resource group. And you can see that I have access to this particular resource group. That's because my user, that is this particular email ID was added to that particular group. So that's it for this lecture. So this was a very brief lecture on how you can add users from other domains into your Azure platform. I hope this was useful. I will see you in the next.